Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on your love life. If you're new to my channel, welcome. As you can see, I've already shuffled the cards and laid them out. They are going to be focused on the current energies between you and the individual that you are dealing with. I'm going to go through each of these energies very briefly and then I'm going to clarify, okay? So let's begin. Now we're going to start with the first card that has shown up and this card was on the bottom of the deck. This card is all about moving away from a situation that has proven to be difficult. It feels as if something may have happened between you and the person that you're dealing with. Perhaps the two of you are taking a break from each other. Maybe things got very emotional and difficult to deal with. It might have felt emotionally cumbersome. For example, there might have been, you know, emotional burdens connected between you and this individual. It feels like a heaviness of energy where one individual may have needed to step away. Now, this is a subtle energy. This was on the bottom of the deck. When it comes to your energy, what I'm seeing is that many of you are yearning for some sort of sign or some sort of indication from this individual. It feels as if you're waiting for them to reach out or you're waiting for some sort of, you know, thing to be met by this individual. It could really be a range of things, but I am going to clarify this card to see what exactly you're hoping for from this individual. It feels as if it's very much connected to wanting to have happiness, wanting to have hope, wanting to know that the two of you can come together in a happily ever after type of situation. From your energy, it feels as if, you know, you still have a lot of love for this person. The two of you have been through your ups and downs. You're still hopeful that the both of you can come together, heal this connection, move towards, you know, this beautiful fairy tale romance. So even though this ending has occurred, I feel like from your energy and how you're perceiving the situation, you're not, you know, to the point where you're feeling a lot of anxiety. You're not at that point where you're grieving the situation and you're just struggling. It doesn't feel like that sort of energy. It feels as if you're inside of your head, you're thinking about romance, you're thinking about love, you're thinking about this individual and happily ever after. So I do feel like many of you still have that desire to see this through, okay? You haven't allowed the situation to affect you on a mental level, or on an emotional level, which is good. Now, coming to the energy that is affecting both you and this person, this is the energy connecting you and this individual. There's an indication here of a change that has occurred in your relationship, okay? It feels as if something came to an end. It could be that one individual decided that they wanted to do things differently. It's very much connected to this energy of soulmate unions, right? feels like this energy is being challenged because with this card, I get the impression that things did indeed end between the two of you. It could be a breakup, an ending. We have this, you know, card here to confirm this energy as well. So it feels as if what's connecting both you and this individual is that there's been a shift in the balance of the energies and it is affecting the union between both you and this individual concern and it's making things a little bit more difficult, okay? but your energy is still hopeful, which is good. Now, the energy of this individual is showing to me, they have some very deep and powerful emotions for you. This particular card is all about lust, temptation, desire. You know, if you look at this image, there is a bit of nudity on it, but, you know, it feels as if there's this energy of where the individual is really holding the female in a very loving manner, in a very nurturing sort of manner. It's like, you belong to me. It's that type of energy. It's like um, the type of energy that's a little bit territorial. There's a closeness between the individuals. There's a love there. There's a desire. And it's a much more deeper energy than you would get from this particular card. It feels as if this individual is drawn to you, magnetically pulled towards you, feeling this sort of... Um, strong physical desires for you okay and then we have this card here and this is also a major arcana card which talks about you know wanting something wanting something to the extremity of it 
not wanting to let go of control, not wanting to release this connection. The power of this connection is um, sort of taking this individual to a place of a deep, deep obsession. It's like that sort of lusting type of energy, you know. So let's begin the clarification process. It's quite clear this individual is very deeply attracted to you. It feels as if their energy is more focused on the physical attributes of the relationship, the desire to conquer, the desire to love, and to feel very animalistic. It's that type of energy that I'm picking up from this individual. From your energy, it feels as if you want to take things to the next level. You want to move towards commitment and stability. This individual is feeding into their animalistic instincts. If you're dealing with a man, then it's quite clear here what is uh, propelling them forward. Okay, so let's begin the clarification process. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, you can check out the courses and books in the description box below. There's also going to be an extended reading where I'll be going into these energies in more detail. I do pick up this energy where this individual is deeply possessive over you, but I do also sense that, you know, there might have been an ending of some sort. as if this individual has a set of tendencies and beliefs that they have formed over time. It feels as if there's a set of energies that they've brought into the relationship and that they're carrying with them right now. What I sense from this particular card is that there's this energy of where this individual has been doing things long before they met you. So they've gotten accustomed to a certain set of way of acting in a relationship, right? So if they've had relationships prior to you, which is most likely, this individual may have a tendency to act and behave a certain way. And this feels as if it's very deeply embedded in this individual. It's very deeply ingrained. What's the word? Embedded and ingrained. Ingrained into their spirit. It feels like this individual that you're dealing with, you know, when it comes to the future, it feels as if they don't feel as if they have the power to make the decisions there. And so this might be creating uncertainty in terms of what you're looking for from this individual, which is showing to me that you want them to say whether they want to marry you or whether they want to commit or whether they want to make things official. Maybe you want to, to be introduced to their family, to their friends. You want to take things to the next level, whatever it means for you and your relationship with this individual. But it feels as if this individual feels like the future is not in their hands and this could be challenging the connection. What I'm also sensing from this individual is that there's an energy of them wanting to live in the moment. So even though they're deeply possessive over you, some of you could feel as if this energy is fleeting, you know? You don't know if this romance is going to last forever and you want them to prove to you that they truly want to be with you for the rest of their life. So whenever you broach topics of the nature such as uh, what's going to happen with us, is this going to last, you know? When are you going to be ready to settle down? This individual may skate around those topics. That could have caused the breakup between the two of you. Yes, I feel like this connection between the two of you fell apart. Things changed and it might have been very sudden. This individual might have been very, very involved in your day-to-day -day life, wanted to be a part of every step of the way, involving themselves in terms of your decisions and the things that you were doing. But it feels as if they were playing this sort of uh, behind-the-scenes role where they didn't want to really play a completely active role in your life. It feels as if the two of you had this relationship. It was very steamy, very heated, very passionate. But this individual didn't want to make them themselves so a part of your world that uh, you know um, it would be clear to you that they were trying to start something with you that would last forever 
I hope that makes sense. It feels as if they didn't want to give you any sort of wrong impressions. They didn't want to lead you to believe anything else about this connection. And I feel like you may have been pushing towards having a deeper type of relationship with them. But, uh, you know, this person felt like the future is not in their hands. For some reason, they felt as if, you know, they're going to leave everything to chance. They're going to allow everything to just fall into place when it's time to fall into place. And I'm sensing that made you feel very deeply uncomfortable. Okay, so let's see. Yes, I feel like you wanted to start a family or maybe move towards commitment. But this situation, you know, something happened along the way. In spirit, it feels as if the two of you are committed. But in theory, it feels as if this individual is not aware of it, not recognizing it. Wanting to take ownership of you, wanting to have you, wanting to possess you but not wanting to claim it in a way of making some sort of announcement to the world or making it official. It feels like that sort of energy. Yeah. I feel like, you know, things changed suddenly and it may have made you feel as if they're not going to take it to the next level. And you may have been left wondering, like, are you never going to get married? Is this individual never going to take a chance on this relationship to the point in which they're actually making themselves available to the possibility of spending the rest of their life with you? Yeah, it feels as if, you know, something ended here. Something massive because we have a card here talking about an ending and this is an opportunity and it was a chance to change the dynamic of this relationship or to change things. And you see, we have this energy here, which is another opportunity that came along, but it was ended. So it feels as if there's so much love here, but it's not being recognized, not being acknowledged in the way that it should be. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at this individual's energy in more detail. What I'm going to be looking at is their feelings and thoughts. I'm going to be looking at what caused this massive sort of flare up where they broke away from this connection. What can you do to get this individual to actually plan for the future and to change their mind? Because it feels as if they want this, they want you, but they don't want to make things official. They don't want to take the, that chance on changing this relationship and moving it up in terms of its wavelength. It feels as if they want to keep things as it is. They want to enjoy you. They want to have you. They want to you know, uh, possess you, but they don't want to take things to the next level. And believe me, people can change. So I'm going to have a look and see how exactly you can move this relationship in that direction in order to get the changes that you've been looking for and to have the happiness that you've been striving towards for the longest time. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. You can find the link in the description box below. Have a wonderful day and take care.